The key to finding Omicron is microscopic. It's in the chemicals that make up the virus's genes. And three key laboratories, from the state lab in Shoreline to the Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center to this clinical virology lab at the University of Washington's medical school, are in the hunt. Over a year ago, we set up a very robust genotyping program in Washington state just for this reason. Scott Lindquist is the state's epidemiologist. One thing he says can flag a positive coronavirus PCR test for Omicron is not what they find, but what they don't find. It's a missing gene on the spike protein of the virus used to infect other cells. It's known by the letter S. If the S is missing, what they call a dropout, that could signal an Omicron infection. It can help you flag, it can help you screen your samples. I interviewed Pavitra Roychowdhury, a UW Medicine computational biologist who's part of the UW Medicine lab. They're going back over samples gathered in the last two weeks. Finding a sample with that missing S, you have a candidate for Omicron. But because there's so much urgency to know whether it's here and how much of it is here, uh, we can bring on another tool, which is this PCR-based test that you asked about, which can detect that just one, one region and see if it's missing among the positive samples. About 10% of positive PCR tests are studied for their genomic makeup, and the overwhelming number of those are for Delta. Although some Delta sequences can have that same piece missing, uh, the majority of Delta sequences do not. So that should make Omicron pretty easy to spot. By the way, Washington claims status is the sixth best testing state out of 50 in the country. Live in Shoreline, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.